Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries that views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, announcement really quickly. So we've been getting some negative comments in the comments section. Uh, to those who come here for positive messages, positive, you know, just a positive environment. Let's try to police our comment section. If you see negativity, just uh, quietly and quickly click that report button. Yeah, report them. All right. Um, and as you're reporting them, uh, quietly say to yourself, we don't have time for this. You know, I think it, it'll make you feel better that you're reporting negativity. We just don't have time for it. It's just getting out of hand. I've gotten a few emails about negative comments in the comment section. I, I have a life. I cannot keep up with everything that's being said, as has been said. But if you see negativity and you want to do your part, uh, you know, be a civil servant, civil police, or whatever they call it, uh, click that report button because we don't have time for it. All right, let's jump into it the shells all right some of you are waiting for somebody you're waiting you're getting tired you're getting frustrated you're getting angry the anger is you know like you're about to explode on this person because you feel like you you feel like you've been so patient some of you are giving money to somebody in some situation. You don't even feel comfortable with doing it, but you're giving money or you're giving, you're expending yourself uh, completely. And I don't think it's being reciprocated or if not being reciprocated, if ever you needed this person or persons, they wouldn't do it for you. So I, I think that's where the, you feeling uncomfortable about it comes in at. Um, some of you are pregnant, you can see that it's beautiful. Congratulations. Um, to me, somebody's not happy about this. They're trying to, you know, be sensitive, but, but at the same time, they're just not happy about this. This was completely unwarranted, un unexpected, just unplanned for. there's a job change job loss job change something like that something's going on with the job some of you feel like another person doesn't put enough energy into the child or children that you share you feel like you're doing it all by yourself and it just upsets you at times Some of you, you feel like you're completely done with the situation. Look at this here. But um, there's still love there. And it's still, it's like a toxic, bad situation. Like somebody has an addiction here. This situation left you always questioning, well, what was so wrong with me? I don't know. That's with somebody. third party someone wants to choose you someone loves you but it's just like they just can't they got themselves so entangled in something it's just almost it feels impossible for them to walk away walk out of untangle themselves it's almost if they're burying their head in the sand but they still want you there Selfish. Okay, let's put the shell away. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's jump into love. What cards are we using? Oh. Okay. Okay. Cards on the top right off the bat. Alright. 
four cards for Aries for love. Four cards. Four cards for Aries. This is just ridiculous. I'll take it. Because they all fell face down. Okay, bottom of the deck, the four of earth. Okay. Career and finance. It's supposed to be four. We got five here. Okay. Career and finance for Aries. Bottom of the deck, we have strength. Nice. Be strong. This is a, like a job change, job loss, job, something, job. So, current finance. Our angel oracle deck. What should Aries be focused on going forward? Bottom of the deck, heavenly signs. Nice. All right, and then we've got our angel answer. So if you have a question out there, uh, here's some angel answers to it. There's one. Whatever the question is. Okay, and then there's two. Bottom of the deck within the next few weeks nice okay all right for love let's jump into it we got the four of earth or the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck star card The Queen of Fire. Sorry, guys. I heard something in, my, in the woods. I live in the damn near woods. Anyway, um, Queen of Fire, the Ten of Air, Seven of Air, the Nine of Earth. So, in love, there is. There could possibly be wish fulfillment. There could be some reconciliation, restoration of of a love situation. Maybe something to do with Aquarius, another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Someone has been holding on to someone, like I said, in the shell. Someone was holding on, waiting for this situation to end waiting for somebody to end something and they were planning to take action in regards to coming to you or becoming single what somebody's waiting for someone to become single here the fire never died for this person he was just waiting for them to end whatever they were in, whatever they're in, or your marriage, relationship, uh, moving, whatever. You're waiting patiently. You've done a lot of work to uh, on yourself, for self. You built yourself up, and you're waiting for that partnership, maybe from this other person. Definitely waiting for someone. I don't know, Aries. It may come back around. But there's an ending here. This person may have caused you some heartbreak and some heartache and just completely disappointed you in the past. Uh, they may have been sneaky, a liar, a cheat. But you're still waiting for them. It looks like they may come back around also. There might be an ending within their situation. 
Okay, in career and finance, we have the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Three Aces in a row. Aries, that's beautiful. It looks like a job change, job loss, but even in the midst of all of that, it's like newness. It's like something ends and then something begins. You're going to have to stay strong in the midst of dealing with this because there's a lot of transition, a lot of transformation here. Something brings a lot of um, stability, money. It, it ignites you passionately. It almost fulfills you on a spiritual level, if not spiritual work. It just it fulfills you on an emotional level. It's like you, it's like the perfect match in regards to career and finance, uh, or a career. Money comes in, it allows you to take action in some way. Um, it brings you so much fulfillment, and you've stood your ground on this. Like some people have told you to let it go, walk away, or you felt like walking away, letting it go. Um, but you stood your ground. It felt like it would never shift. It would never turn for you. But it looks like something in your career sector is turning for you. It could be business opportunity. New business. The start of a new business. Something that fulfills you passionately and emotionally. You have so much drive and desire for this. That there's no way it can't be successful. Uh, and the butterfly oracle deck that we have heavenly answers under heavenly signs under the deck um i think you you know something you know that this is a, supposed to work for you this way there's an inner knowing there's a calm that comes in in regards to you aligning yourself with maybe a new job a new way of thinking yeah Family changes. Someone enters, exits the home. Uh, baby. Um, moving. Purchase of a new home. I mean, family changes just could be anything. Body changes. Listen to your body. When the body starts talking, you got to listen. Body changes. All right, some of you may be getting real um, serious about fitness and being physically fit. Um, real serious about your health real serious about how you look how your body looks the, the you know your aesthetics um, some of you had surgery and there like some changes in regards to the inner workings of your body you had some some changes happen There's newness here, especially in career and finance. That's nice. I think you guys have been manifesting, like doing your work, doing doing your doing the work on yourself. Firstly, saying your affirmations. You've been standing your ground on what you want. You want a new business. You want passion. You want desire. You want spirituality and love, and it's coming. You got three aces in career and finance sector nice you get wish fulfillment here just hold on hold on and wait it out okay under the deck for angel answers within the next few weeks nice. okay. uh, a year from now nice communicate clearly nice uh, a year from now something's changing like you get three new stars a year from now you might you might just be a completely different person oh, your life may look completely different communicate clearly don't get tongue-tied don't get shy communicate clearly what it is you want what it is you want from another person what it is you want in a situation Communicate clearly. Don't be afraid of the outcome. If you don't get what you want from a situation, look what is coming. All right. Aries, I hope that this resonated with you. It's a beautiful reading. Um, 
if you need to get in contact with me to schedule a personal reading all of my information is below there's a four business day wait for readings um, go over to my website book a reading there uh, send me an email we can do it that way all of my information is below remember Aries to stay in prayer I am praying for you guys pray for me as well take care and remember to comment below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me so go ahead and comment even if you just say hi uh, my civil servants my police let's get out here let's get in these comments and uh, make sure people are remaining positive all right take care guys